Hi, and welcome to Kentucky Farm Bureau Reports. It's springtime in the Commonwealth, so why not travel to one of Kentucky Farm Bureau's certified roadside markets, like Wilson Nurseries, here in Frankfort, Kentucky. We started out as a more of a landscape uh, contracting kind of business, did a lot of side, a lot of landscape installations. We still have a huge aspect uh, of our business, a division, if you will, that, that does landscaping, but uh, have a lot of different things going on. We have the retail that we're standing in here. We have uh, our production facilities that are also at this location. We have wholesale in Lexington have a farm in Shelby County so and then the restaurant that's on this site here too so everything kind of fits together and uh, makes the whole and all of that growth and all of that happened over the course of the last 35 years somewhere along the line. We grow 99 probably percent of all of our own annuals, vegetables, herbs, perennials, grasses, roses, uh, trees and shrubs a little bit differently we grow smaller percentage but and the trees that we do grow primarily would be bald and burlap to that we sometimes start here, sometimes do not, depending on the what variety it is, uh, what plant it is. And then they ship to our Shelby County farm, they're grown out, and then they're brought back here to sell or to our Lexington location or they're th uh, sold through our landscape department somewhere along the line. But again, it all kind of fits together to make the whole. Uh, the Kentucky Farm Bureau has been, uh, being a part of the roadside market program, has been good for us in that um, we're not maybe typically what you look at and you see as a roadside market. It, you get quite a bit of bang for your buck. Uh, and uh, I just think any exposure that you can get, whether you're a nursery or you know whatever it is that you're doing agriculturally, because we absolutely certainly fit the bill agriculturally. We're, we're an agricultural based business, business from head to toe and the more you can kind of put yourself in all of those avenues I think the better off you are. I do love it. My, my dream job is actually to be able to come out here in the greenhouse and actually just work for a whole day uninterrupted and I don't get to do that very often anymore but uh, it, it's I just always say it's my first love and uh, certain aspects of what I do now especially with plants are and I, I I never stop getting excited about new plants and, and really the product that we sell and, and what it is and what it provides for people and, and I just can't imagine selling anything else. Shelby County Farm Bureau women were at the Cornerstone Christian Elementary School recently to read to kindergarten and first grade students. We are presenting the Bee Man book, which is the American Farm Bureau book of the year. It's about honey and the process that bees have when they're making this honey, what all they do, how they can notify each other that they have found more nectar and stuff. And it's important because kids, I think, just think sometimes that honey comes in jars from the store. They don't realize that it really is part of our agriculture. In place on a this gives Farm Bureau an opportunity to reach youth from across the state with agriculture-friendly books. Even with the children here at Cornerstone, even though they live in Shelby County, which is rural, they come from other outside counties and not everybody lives on a farm. Not everybody's aware of what goes on. Very excited to finally receive the truck. It's been really neat to be able to pick out the truck from start to finish. Mercer County's Linda McClanahan bested competitors from around the country at the American Farm Bureau Federation annual convention last January to take home the Young Farmer and Rancher's Excellence in Ag Award. This month, she received her prize truck. 
To me, it just means that all the long hours of hard work, all the collaboration with all the agriculture organizations that we have here in Mercer County, um, all those hours and efforts have really paid off and they've been noticed across the country. Um, it also means that we have, we're very blessed in Mercer County because we do have a really strong County Farm Bureau. We're very blessed in Kentucky to have Kentucky Farm Bureau and then throughout the nation to have Farm Bureau working on behalf of farmers and ranchers across the country. Well, this evening we're having a measure the candidate forum for our county office candidates. We've had a, a large number of judge executive candidates file and magistrates as well, so we figured it was time that we need to get it out to the voters of what each one of them stands for and let them have their choice. Pendleton County Farm Bureau played host to a measure the candidate forum at Pendleton County High School. This forum gave candidates the opportunity to share their platform and hear about issues facing our farming communities. We feel that it's important to, to have this for the voters because so many people get unattached to the, to the county officials, don't know really what's going on in the county or who they're even voting for. We see the effects of what happens in Washington and, and Frankfurt coming down to our counties. We need to know who is implementing it here in our county. And as, as Farm Bureau directors and members here, we need to have our voice involved on selecting those members. Kentucky Farm Bureau played host to a special screening of the new feature-length documentary, Farmland, from Academy Award-winning filmmaker, James Mall. Many of the Farm Bureau leaders, uh, the board, the executive committee, uh, decision makers, the local and state government, also various people in the food industry, other ag organizations, and, and just the consuming public will be here this evening for the opportunity to see this story to get a better understanding of agriculture, why people are engaged in farming, some of the challenges they deal with, but also some of the excesses and opportunities. So it's a way of communicating to those that may not know much about agriculture. The feature-length documentary follows the new generation of American farmers and ranchers examining the lives of six farmers in their 20s from various parts of the nation. Now a message from Dwight Greenwell on member benefits. If your home or business is in need of a roof, you may want to consider the metal roof option. If so, E-Star Metal Systems has been a member benefit partner with Kentucky Farm Bureau for a few years now. They can install a 29 gauge metal roof or a standing seam metal roof on your home or business and as a Farm Bureau member you will receive a 10 to 15 percent discount depending on the type of roof you choose. For more information about this member benefit or any others visit our website kyfb.com. Now here's our calendar of coming events. The state FFA convention is June 10th through the 12th. The Institute for Future Agriculture Leaders or IFL program is June 15th through the 19th at Murray State University and June 22nd through the 26th at the University of Kentucky. And the regional teacher workshops start June 16th in Lake Barkley, June 17th in Lucas, June 18th in Louisville, and June 19th in Lexington. I'd like to thank the folks at Wilson's Nurseries for letting us stop by and take a visit. We'll see you next time. <laughs>